Hello and welcome to part 9 of our 45 RPM vinyl records A through Z collection. Got us a nice collectibles collector series 45s sleeve there to show you. And um, the vinyl inside is something special indeed. It's Nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon from the Spy Who Loved Me James Bond film. But notice it says for radio station use only. Yeah, and the A side is stereo, and that's where we've got the B side in mono. That mono B side is still marked A, but you know, I would consider it a B side because it's mono. Uh, that was for A and A. <clears throat> That was for AM radio station usage. Um, they played the mono in AM and the stereo on FM. So you see a lot of those DJs, uh, 45s, where they've got mono on one side and stereo on the other side of the same song. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the exact same recording. Sometimes it's a completely different mix in the mono. Sometimes it is a fold down from the stereo, so they've just you know, blended both channels into one. Uh, sometimes it's a completely different recording. Um, but a lot of artists, like Jimi Hendrix, for one, for example, all of his mono uh, mixes were exclusive. They were different um, mixes. Uh, they might have been the same recordings, the same parts, but they were mixed specifically for those mono radio stations. Um, okay, so moving on, we've got the Carpenters with uh, They Long To Be Close To You. Why do birds suddenly appear? And this guy made his name tag in Braille there, so you can definitely... I tried to get it off, and it was going to start tearing the label, so we left it alone. All right, beside of that being I Kept On Loving You. We've got a fair stack of carpenters here, and surprisingly, there's a few in here that I did not film previously. So these mixed boxes that I've had so many carpenters in, the last few months that I've been uh, filming videos for the channel, uh, I did not run into uh, a copy of this one, for example. So I've got um, Only Yesterday there on the A side and the song Happy being on the B side. Now this is another one where, you know, how do you know the A from the B side? Well, uh, this is another way you can tell on the picture sleeves. The main song always has the solid flap across the top. You flip it over, you've got that little bit of a fold to get into. That's the B side label. So this is another dead giveaway that only yesterday was the A and happy was the B simply because of the way the label was done. So they didn't tell us on here. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right, now here's another one that uh, I don't remember seeing, uh, but I may have had, but just not a picture sleeve. Here again, you can tell the A from the B side, so Heather was the B side, and Top of the World was the A side. So, kind of a cool picture sleeve there. And there's the label for you with uh, Top of the World on the A side and Heather on the B. Yeah, I just absolutely loved Kieran Carpenter's voice. Um, I, it takes me back to the roller skating days. And so here we've got We've Only Just Begun, which was one of their early, earliest, if not their earliest hit. You can see they both even look pretty young here in this picture. Um, I'm not sure if this picture sleeve is an original uh, from the time picture sleeve or if it was a reissue, you know, that they put out at a later time. But uh, the label, you can't really tell any difference. Uh, we've only just begun from the AM album Close to You, written by Paul Williams. We've discussed that previously when I filmed this 45 in the past about how Paul Williams wrote it. And uh, it was originally a bank commercial, a commercial for a bank. They've only just begun. They had bought a mortgage, on a, got, bought a house, got a mortgage through the bank. Um, yeah, but they turned it into a big pop hit. 
Uh, B side being all of my life, and you'll notice it's from Ticket to Ride, whereas we've only just begun with From Close to You. There again, we discussed this numerous times. AM Records love to use those B sides to promote a previous album, so it's not at all uncommon, for, especially on AM's, to have uh, songs from two different releases on that uh, 45 vinyl. So, kind of a neat cover there. It's the exact same on the, the front and back except for the title of the songs being different. So there we've got Yesterday Once More Should Be Do Lang Lang and Road Ode. Alright, so that wraps up our Carpenters for now. And uh, we're going to be looking at some Cars 45s. And the first one out the gate is a very interesting one because it's got uh, that bleed through again on the labels with that dang silver print. And you've got Hello Again at 345 by the Cars off of Heartbeat City. It says it there. And on the B side, you've got Hello Again running six minutes and two seconds. What's up with that, huh? Well, up here it says dub version. Right underneath where it says stereo. You can make that out, it says dub version. So this is an exclusive 45 version. I have never seen this released on CD uh, at any point. I'm not saying it hasn't been. There might be a Cars Best Dub or box set out there that I'm not aware of that's came out in the last 10 years or so that might have this on there. But as far as I know, the only place to get this version of Hello Again is on this 45 vinyl RPM. So that makes it kind of cool. Uh, a lot of the exclusive stuff there, the Cars did do some um, exclusive B-sides on a lot of their releases. Uh, here we've got Heartbeat City um, from the album Heartbeat City, of course. And the B-side on it is I'm Not the One. But this is actually from Greatest Hits. Um, the Cars' Greatest Hits is when this 45 was put out. Um, that was Heartbeat City, was off of Heartbeat City, and I'm Not the One. Mm, I think that was off the first or second album. Um, definitely wasn't um, on Heartbeat City, I don't think. And uh, here we go again with the Cars Greatest Hits. So these were 45s released at the time that that Greatest Hits album came out. Because just what I needed was definitely off of the first album. And the B side of this one is Tonight She Comes. Which was the new song, or one of two, I think, new songs on the Greatest Hits album. Um, this song was exclusive to that release, and it uh, had not been on an album previously. So, this 45 is kind of cool, but this version on the 45 is the same as the version on the Greatest Hits album, so there's nothing actually special in that regard. Um, next up, and it's cool because the sleeve matches the vinyl. <laughs> Not so often we see that. And it's the Cars, off of Heartbeat City, doing magic. Oh, oh, it's magic when I'm with you. And the B-side is a song called I Refuse, which was also on Heartbeat City. All right, very cool. Um, next, we've got a couple of uh, older, much older ones. We've got uh, the Cascades doing... That's the sound, rhythm of the rain. I do believe, I could be wrong, but I think that's the song that we're talking about here. Um, and the B-side being a song called Let Me Be. So, um, next up is uh, one I definitely know. The chairman of the board with Give Me Just a Little More Time. Just a little, little more time. And uh, Invictus, that's not a sleeve that I recognize having seen very often. It's kind of got a bit of the thinker there, variation on the thinker there going on. Uh, the B-side being since the days of pigtails and fairy tales. Now, that got to be an interesting listen, huh? The days of pigtails and fairy tales. Interesting. Wife and I just recently started watching Once Upon a Time. Never saw it in the days that it was out, but... Uh, I bought it for her for Christmas, and uh, we're actually enjoying it. It's actually a pretty good show. And I know a lot of you out there are saying, God, that's old, you know. You just, Yeah, well, I'm just getting around to it. <laughs> Better late than never. 
But yeah, I, I am enjoying the uh, Once Upon a Time TV show. That's pretty good. And the only thing that that came brought to mind was because them talking about fairy tales there on the B side. So next up, we've got Charlie Daniels Band, and the South's gonna do it again. And uh, this is definitely one that probably just ended up in a box that I had bought. Um, that went down to Georgia. I thought I had that one too, but it's not here. So I think I've got that one in a mixed box or another box that's set aside. Um, but I've got two copies of South's gonna do it again. The original and the memory lane version and do they have the same b-sides well let's just find out this one's got new york city king size rosewood bed and uh while i'm at it i gotta mention again i love that kama sutra label in the garden of eden i really really do like that label it's bright colorful it's pretty and no the b-side on the memory lane is Long-haired country boy. You better leave this long-haired country boy alone. All right, so next up, we've got Cheap Trick, another band that I loved back in the day. I definitely remember the first time I heard of them. They were on the Midnight Special, and the next day at school, all anyone could talk about was the ginormous drumsticks that guy was playing with. <laughs> Did you see that this weekend? Oh yeah, everybody, well, my little clique, saw it. And that was where uh, I first got into Cheap Trick. But here you've got the uh, Don't Be Cruel, uh, which was definitely uh, an Elvis song that uh, they did a remake of for their uh, greatest hits. Well, this says Laugh of Luxury. Okay, so this was from Laugh of Luxury. And the B-side is an exclusive. I know what I want live. So that's uh, pretty cool. I love to have those exclusive B-sides. They're always welcome additions to any collection I have. Uh, all right, we're gonna stop this one right here. And thank you very much for watching. If you appreciate it, give me some thumbs up because I'll appreciate those for sure. Uh, you have a wonderful day and we'll see you another time for part 10.